and, and certainly it's a little unorthodox, you might say. Um, but I think it's really important for trombonists of all ages and of all levels to um, sometimes just play. And it doesn't even have to be a tune. In fact, that might even be too much uh, constriction at first. You know, at first just play your horn and make music. I mean, uh, even if there's no tempo, uh, although I think tempo is probably a good thing for most people um, to, to always be thinking about, because that's typically one of the, the, the things that I find students struggling with the most is just playing in time and with a very solid and, and honest sense of, um, of, of rhythm and, and, and groove. Um, but, you know, maybe if it's not even a tune, just picking up the horn. And um, what I try to do as, as part of the exercise, of course, this is in the practice room, is uh, purposely not think about what I'm going to play. And I'll play something, and whatever comes out of the horn, uh, go with it. Whether it's good or bad, you know, if you start thinking about is this good or bad, suddenly you're, you're, you've already lost the game. <laughs> you're now suddenly you're thinking about editing and, and, and judging and criticizing, and those are all very negative things when it comes to achieving the state of mind. So, and this, by the way, is what I did in that solo. The first note I played without the rhythm section was the fourth of F minor, and uh, probably not the note I would have picked because without a rhythm section, it's nice to try to outline the chords a little bit more, for me at least. Um, but I went with it and found that, okay, well, that fourth and the root, okay, that formed a fifth. So then the first lick I played was kind of developing that idea of, of fifths. And I came back to that idea at the end.